Hi, y'all. It's Mary with Stamps and Lingers, and it is Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, which means it is time for a video tutorial, and you can kind of get a glimpse of what we're going to work on today. Uh, let me go ahead and refresh off screen over here to be sure that I'm transmittalating as advertised, because otherwise I'm just out in the ether, and it occurred to me approximately three seconds ago that I didn't actually mention this morning on my Facebook page that I was going to be live. It's in my vid my post, but it wasn't in my video page. So hopefully we're doing something. This isn't looking so good on my screen. Let's see what we got over here. All right. Hey, Roz. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Nance. Hi, Mary. Um, somebody give me a thumbs up if you've got something other than a blurry picture of my horse sitting there in the screen, because that's all I see. I'm going to refresh right quick and see what I get. Just a sec. Because hopefully that's not a bad omen. Just, oh, there we go. Okay, looks like we're back. Or we were always there and my computer was just being obnoxious. Hey, I see some thumbs up. So everybody's seeing, picking up what I'm putting down. Hey, Holly. Hi, Amy. Glad to see you. Hi, Jean. All righty. <laughs> Roz, you got me in my in your calendar. That's awesome. Hi, Karen. Hi, Diane. Glad you could join me tonight. Um, hey, Linda. Yeah, a little blurry. It may just need to... Um, may just need to buffer a little bit. I'm seeing clear on my screen now, so it looks like it's okay. Hey, Robbie. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate you. This one, when I saw... This is the... Uh, the paper players sketch this week and when I saw it my brain said it has to be ladybugs thanks Tanya hey Llewellyn from Chili Huntsville yeah my friend just texted me this evening and said it had been cold there so yeah it's chilly here too wearing uh I'm sorry Sue I'm not real sure how to help you there um maybe refresh your screen I'm not sure um hi Barbara okay all right so this card does use the Little Ladybug set. This is the host set from Celebration. And you remember, this is one that you get for free if your individual order or a workshop order for which you are the host reaches the $300 in retail sales. You'll get all of your Celebration rewards. You'll get all of the other benefits coming to you. But you also get this for free. Hey, Jean. Um, and coming on the 4th of February, which is like right around the corner, we have a new set of dies, one of five new coordination products. This is the Ladybug dies, and you can see it pretty much cuts every image in the set, um, with the possible exception of these little tiny guys here, but I think that's okay. And it also cuts some things that aren't in the set, like some grass, and this is the a B flight path. You can obviously tell that's a B flight path. And then some little leaves and stems and flowers, and we are going to use those today. So, um, and I also used the Stitch So Sweetly die set, which I th think, I feel like I may just have to use on every single card I do from here on out. There. Oh, good, Sue. I'm glad to see that it is, um, that it's cleaned up for you. Yes, Tanya, now that there's dies, you need the set. I'm just saying. After a week or so of rain and so yeah, Donna, we've been we don't know what to do here. And the the weather people, they you know, they hit it about every thirty, you know, even a broken clock is right twice a day. So yeah, it's kinda like that. Alright, so we're gonna make this card sort of. Alright. Um this one is a thank you card in in pink and green and, and blue. And you can see on the inside, I've used You're So Sweet and given another stamp set, uh, stamped flyer. I'm calling her a flyer. Everybody else is a grounded ladybug. These are the flyer ladybugs. Um, but what I'm going to do, I have a request for a baby card. So I'm going to use this exact design, this exact set, but we're going to make it a baby card. I, I hope that's okay. Actually, I can't help it if it's not okay. I need a baby card, and that's what we're going to make tonight. So... Let's put this aside. It'll give me some ideas. Um, and we are going to do a little paper piecing with this baby set. But you'll be glad to know that in my little bowl, I've got a whole bunch of things pre-done so that you don't have to watch me do things forever. 
All right, I'm going to show you a couple of things here. These card cuts will all be on the blog tomorrow. Um, they won't be this specific, these specific colors because we are going to get the information for this, but you'll be able to translate it across, I'm quite sure. And I've done a little pre-cutting, um, which is always helpful. One thing that's kind of cool, I can tell you, is that um, in the die set, you get a couple of leaves and the stems and then two different kinds of flowers. So I needed a bunch of them. So really what I did is I cut all five of them three times. So I've got really 15 leaves and, and flowers here to create my card front. And then I stamped the flower in basic gray and cut it with its die. And I've got my ladybugs already cut and mostly colored. And we're gonna do a little playing around with that here. And then we're gonna do a little paper piecing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get startled. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make my textured card front. And I've got a piece of um, granny apple green here. And what I did is I cut also in granny apple green, like I said, I cut all those leaves and flowers. And so with my Stitch So Sweetly die, this is about where it's gonna go on the card front. Okay. Uh, the flight path actually just perforates the paper. I'll show it to you here in just a second. You'll get to see it. So what I did is I, I've cut this. This is the largest of the stitched so sweetly rectangle dies. Um, when I refer to rectangle dies, it's these, and then these are my these are what I refer to as the label dies, and then these are the curvy label dies. So try to keep up with my terminology for the next couple of months as we use these sets. So then what I did is I just kind of knew I wanted flowers and leaves in the corners, so I just kind of went ahead and laid them out how I, how I thought they ought to be. I'm gonna put flowers on stems, and we'll have some leaves, and then we've got some of these uh, like half flower dudes, like that. And it never hurts to cut extra, cut more than you think you need because, you know, what's the worst that'll happen? You've got a few left over and I'm gonna save that one and maybe put him here like that. And then we'll put, now you'll see, can you see here? Let me see if you can see. See how there's a little line? So these are um, cutting and embossing dies, and you get the same kind of a deal with the little flower. You can see that it's got a little center. I did not spritz these with water, mostly because I didn't need them to curl or even want them to curl, and because they were going to be kind of partially hidden. So I didn't take the time to um, to water them down. You obviously could could do that if you wanted to, but I don't believe it's necessary for this particular card. Now, there's there's no right or wrong way to do this, I'm just saying, because there's really just no right or wrong way to do this. What I'm gonna do is once I get these all laid out, I'm gonna put my die cut, my white, whisper white piece back on just to be sure that I like where everything is and that I don't feel I need any more of anything and then um, I'm going to adhere all the leaves and stems with liquid glue. And I'm gonna pop my, uh, I'm gonna pop my flowers on with dimensionals, okay? So when I put this back, you'll be able to see that I've got a pretty even, even coverage of my flowers just on those corners, which is where I wanted them. And I think I might put another leaf in here over this way. How about there? Okay, so now all I'm really going to do... Hi, Carol. Hi, Sharon. Appreciate you joining. Hi, Kay. Uh, now I'm going to take some liquid glue, and I'm going to adhere the leaves with liquid glue. And I'm putting the liquid glue right on the card front. You don't need very much, remember. That's why this is one of my very favorite adhesives, if not my very favorite adhesive. All right, and we're just gonna do that. And then I'll pull out my dimensionals. And I'm gonna put, um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and cut a few little pieces for some of the smaller flowers, just because it's easier that way. And we're gonna pop them up. Now, I looked closely at the picture on the uh, flyer for the coordination products, and I'm pretty sure this is how Stampin' Up! made um, made this this uh, made their their um, oh my goodness I've just I've just lost the power of speech what in the world made their sample that they show on their picture and you can see that we're so I think that's how they did it pretty sure all right have you guys had a good weekend I hope you've had a good weekend we uh did some running around today. It's a grocery day, you know, all of those other things. Yesterday I went and I had a little fun. I, Wayne even went with me. I was amazed and mystified. And he only nearly had a stroke like twice. Um, I went and I bought clothes. I've been getting rid of clothes that don't fit happily because they're too big for me and not because they're too small for me. And so I went and I bought some clothes. And I'm very happy. Yep. It was actually for the first time in really quite a long time. It was fun to buy clothes and to try clothes on. And to not just shudder when I looked in the mirror. And to not buy things that were like, okay, I guess that would be all right. You know, those kinds of clothes. I didn't have to buy any of those like that. So it was nice. Um, and fun. And I enjoyed it. And I've got a bunch now waiting to go to the Goodwill. Yay! But I still have to make my list. Because you can't take anything to the Goodwill without making a list. So. So I now have clothes to wear to backstage. And on tour. And I've got some things that will be great for the trip to Hawaii. Hawaii. I'm happy and excited if I know it. If I'm happy and excited, clap my hands. Okay, here we go. I thought this was such a cute little way to do a card front. And I'm really glad I was able to peer at the picture enough to see it. I'm pretty certain this is what I'm seeing. And I think it's going to be so cute. It's so cute. It's just so cute. It's just so stinking cute. All right. So this is how this is going to fit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put dimensionals out here on these corners and in the middle. And then I'll just use liquid glue to adhere to the raised up um, flowers. Okay. But before I do that, what I did is I took, um, because I know now where my ladybugs are going to be. When I first made the card, what I did next is I laid all of the die cut pieces out and then I determined where I wanted my little flyy flight things. And then you just run the run the cardstock through with the die in place like that. And I did it three times, once there, once there, and once right on the corner for that per first little flyer. And you can see what it does. I think you can see it. There you go. That looks like it's a pretty clear picture. You can see that it makes the perforated flight path. Fun, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on now. You knew it, you knew it. It had to be dimensionals, always dimensionals. A card without dimensionals is like a day without coffee and we all know that ain't gonna happen. No ma'am, that is not gonna happen. Can you even imagine? I can't even imagine. I, okay, now I know there are people who don't drink coffee, but I, I don't know how or why, or I don't understand how they cannot drink coffee. I just, I really just don't. Ah, clean, cleaning house. Yeah, I am very, very fortunate right now to not have to do that because it gives me a panic knot. It's beyond not fun. It just is something that, makes me almost physically ill knowing I have to do it. I know that's just, it's definitely a first world problem, I know. Okay, so now we're just going to adhere this right 
there looks like it's pretty straight and because I've got dimensionals over here and the dimensionals from the flowers everything is supported evenly so now I'm going to adhere this to a sew saffron mat this is a baby card for a little boy baby human person and so I went with greens and light yellow and balmy blue as my color palette. So I've got So Saffron, Balmy Blue, and Granny Apple Green. I just, I think Granny Apple Green could be one of my favorite greens of all time. I just think it's so beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna set this aside and play with some ladybugs and flowers. First, we'll start with the flower. How about that? So what I did before you joined, as in mulkas, hold your body together. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. People who don't drink coffee, Amy, are kind of weird, Amy. Um, I just, I just, that's what I think. I don't understand it. When I flew C-5s, I, I flew with people who, we were doing 24-hour crew days and flying in the middle of the night, and I was sucking down coffee like it was going out of style. Coffee or Diet Mountain Dew, kind of switch in between. And the people who didn't drink coffee, I just did not understand it. Okay, so a little bit different from um, our prototype. On the prototype for the flower, I used my light and dark balmy blue Stampin' Blends to color the flower. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to paper piece it. And what I, So what I did is I also stamped the flower image in basic gray on some So, so Saffron um, Suttles DSP, the little plaid. For some reason, to me, this plaid, this checkerboard, this light, this small checked gingham, if that's really what it is, is small checked gingham, just says baby to me. It, that, it does. So we're gonna use that for the flower, but I'm gonna go ahead and color my stems with my light and dark um, granny apple green blends. So we'll just do that first and just kind of carefully color the stem. I started dark. I should have probably started light just because it makes me less nervous. Because, you know, there's nothing so stressful as a blend. Don't ever use the wrong blend because, oh my gosh, goodness, that would be horrible to use the wrong blend first. Really, truly, you can use either blend you want. So I'm just kind of putting, I changed to the light blend if you didn't see me do it real quick. And then we'll add in some um, dark to give a little bit of shading. And I'm gonna actually switch my um, light to the bullet end to get a little bit of control. All right, and then we'll just do a little more touch up on the stem and that will be that. Okay, and now we'll close him back up. Thanks, Daryl, appreciate that. Kathy, you don't drink coffee and you're not weird? Mm, okay. Mm, sure. Okay. I will give that it's not weird to not drink coffee. But I can't imagine not drinking coffee. I just can't even, can't even imagine it. I hope the doctor never tells me I have to not drink coffee because I would be really, really bummed for a long time. Amy doesn't drink coffee either. Okay, so I fussy cut that flower, obviously. Um, in fact, I probably could have, um, I probably could have used the dye, but that would have created a um, border outside the line that had the plaid, and I really didn't want that. So for me, it's worth it to fussy cut. If you don't care about that, go ahead and use the dye. There is a, a dye that goes with this. So now I have this all ready, and I'm just going to adhere it to my card front. Duncan decaf. Duncan has the best coffee. I didn't even know how good the coffee was at Duncan until we went to it at on stage in Orlando. We went to Duncan Donuts, and it was so good. I was drinking it iced at the time because that's what I needed was iced. But, oh, it was so tasty. And so that's what we've drunk ever since. Okay, so I've just put some liquid glue behind all but the little stem because the stem is going to kind of hang off. And so I'm just going to adhere that like that. And this is unprotected, right? Unsus unsupported right at this moment. But once I get a ladybug on there, it'll get a little extra help. Okay, so there's that. 
And now we'll do our ladybugs. So I, I have cut six ladybugs. I've got three flyers and three grounded bugs. Now, what I did is I made the arbitrary design decision that my grounded bugs were not gonna be paper pieced. And I did that for two reasons. First of all, well, the biggest reason was this was just a booger of a cut right here to cut around that little arm. And when I did it um, and put the pieced piece on, it didn't look right. And if you don't cut out the little arm, then the little arm is plaid and then that looks weird. So, so I decided to use my light and dark balmy blue on the three grounded ladybugs and to paper piece my flyers. And what I've done is used the small checked gingham again, this time in balmy blue. And I just stamped the image and cut out the wings. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how that happens right after I show you coloring this little dude's body. I've got my light smoky slate blend and I'm just gonna color her body and her little arms and her little butt right there. And just very gently, don't forget, little bee legs, little bee feet, little bee hands and arms. Now, I have never dissected, not a bee, this isn't a bee, this is a ladybug. I have never dissected a bee or a ladybug, so I don't have any idea exactly what should all be what color. So I'm making it up as I go. Because, you know, it is what it is. All right. Now... Once I've done that, I'm taking my color lifter and I'm just going to take the bullet in and kind of color right in the middle. And as that works, it'll kind of lighten it up and create a, an illusion of a little more rounded person. And then I'm going to take my light petal pink blend and color her little face. Color her little face. All right. And let's see, somewhere here, I ha there it is, I found you, don't. We'll cut um, our last set of wings. You know, every time you cut, no, I don't know, that's an angel, that's weird. Every time you sing, every time you laugh, a ladybug gets balmy blue gingham wings. I don't know, something like that. All right, so I'm just going to cut around the outside edge a little bit. Look away, Amy. I know you do not care for fussy cutting, but it is so worth it with this little set. I just think these fussy cut wings are the bomb diggity. The bomb diggity. And it's a pretty an easy image to cut. Cut right across her little face there. And cut that little part out. There we go. So I'm holding my mouth just right. Okay, there we go. And just because it made it easier for me, I actually cut the wings apart. You could probably do this with them together, but I liked it apart. And then I took my um, Smoky Slate Stampin' Right marker and just went around this outside image line just so that it looks a little more complete, which is also a great thing to remember if you're fussy cutting. If you can go back and extend that line out, then that hides any um, imperfections, shall we say, imperfections in your fussy cutting skills, which I have plenty of, plenty of imperfections. There we go. Now, my mom asked for this card. I'm hoping that this will fill the bill. I think it will. I hope it will. Okay, now we're just going to ladybug poops. <laughs> Ladybugs are good luck, and you should not kill them. Also, they eat other bugs, too. Did you know you can actually buy, like, packs of ladybugs? Did you know that? I, I earned that. I don't know. 
And even if a ladybug did poop, it would be so delicate and ladylike that you would be like, oh, that is the most adorable poop ever. That's probably how it would feel. You'd be like, oh, look at that. Little tiny minuscule poop. Okay. And we'll just stick that on there like that. There we go. Okay. There you go, little ladybug. You've got your little gingham, balmy blue the wingies. Okay, so now all we got to do is lay them out so that we can see where they go. All the ladybugs flew away. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't. I mean, seriously. Oh, hey, let's color his little, her little um flower. And I think we're going to color that little flower. I think we're going to color that little flower. Melon Mambo. I just decided it. We'll use our Stampin' Rhyme marker. You could color this flower anything you wanted. It's your little flower. Okay. Oh, I did want to show... Well, let me show you one other thing right quick, like a bunny. Okay. So instead of using thank you, which did not seem at all like the appropriate sentiment for a baby card, I pulled out my special celebrations with this welcome baby stamp. Which was all well and good. And then I realized that my little die that I had used on my thank you card was not quite big enough for welcome back. So, uh, and the next one was too big. It covered up too much of everything. So here's how you do this. And I'm just going to demo on my Big Shot platform. So imagine, if you will... The stamped image is there. Here, I'll show you. The stamped image is there. To start with, you put the die on. This is where the stamp, the machine is. You put the die on where you have your, so that it's got your sentiment centered on it. And you run it through to about there. So that means that when you can just about see this piece on this side of the die machine, you come back out. Don't go all the way through. Go until you can just about see that and then come back out. Okay? Then you turn the platform around and you pick up the die. And at this point, I picked up the cardstock and I moved it to where I wanted it. This end on the other end of my sentiment. And then you kind of line it up and squiggle it around until the little cutting teeth are stuck in the little um, perforations that you've already cut, right? Okay, so you've already cut here, then you turn it around and you move the die cut, the die to the other side, or wait, I'm getting myself confused now. You move your die so that the end is on the other side, and then you run it back through again until you can see this. What that does is it doesn't let the machine cut the the middle out, okay? So that is how you can take any die and make it bigger or longer than, than what it is. Did that kind of make sense to anybody? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe? Okay, well, maybe we'll uh, do one of those for reals next time. If you have questions, let me know, okay? It's really pretty easy. Uh, you just have to take a minute. The trickiest trick part is after you cut it the first time and you turn it around like this, or after you cut it the first time, and then you turn it around like this and run to the other end, you have to get the little, like, I call them teeth. Let's just call them teeth lined up in the perforations. Otherwise, it kind of screws up the cut. But it's pretty straightforward. Okay. I promise, if I can do it, you can do it. So, I've got Welcome Baby on a modified size um, Stitch So Sweetly rectangle. And it is going to be pretty much in the middle of, of my card. Okay? So, then I just lay everybody out. And what I did is I had three flyers. Where'd you go, flyers? Where'd they go? Are they right in front of me? Am I looking right at them? 
that's happening to me more and more, you guys. It's starting to kind of scare me a little bit. I, no kidding, looked for 20 minutes today for my Stampin' Blends, and they were right smack dab in front of me, like right there in front of me. And I looked right at them, and then I looked away, and then I looked right at them, and they were gone. All right, hang down just a minute, because I'm going to look back. Here's one and two. Pretty sure they're right here somewhere. I mean, I know they are because I just dumped them out of my little bowl a little few minutes ago. I feel stupid, oh, so stupid. Where did you go? Where did you go? Wait a minute, maybe they went in here. Nope. Well, I'll be darn swoggled. Can anybody see them? Check under my big shot plate. Good girl. That's Look at you, you're so smart. Oh, Lordy. I thought, oh my goodness, we're gonna be here until 1030 if I have to cut all those again. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Thank you, Karen, for saving me from myself. Okay, back at the ranch, we're going to have our flyers be in our little corners like this. <laughs> what a dork. I'm so dorky sometimes. It just boggles my... <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, I'm gonna look it again because I'm sure I must have missed another one. Goodness. Okay, somebody's in this room with me that isn't playing nice. Finn is not in here. Okay, wait, I'm gonna put all these on the little card and then, then we'll, maybe it'll show up. Come on, Karen, do you see him? Help me out. Help me, help me, Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. You're my only hope. They flew away. I must be haunted. My gosh. That's distress. Okay, I'm sure it's right here. It's right here in front of me, I'm sure of it. Hmm. Isn't that just... You guys saw three total just a minute ago, right? <laughs> okay, wait. Did you get in here? No. Okay. Now I'm starting to be annoyed with my own self. Hmm. I'm horn swag. Did I check the floors? Nope, I didn't check the floors. And that is exactly where that little recalcitrant stinker went. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Get it together, Mary. You're okay. You're fine. Okay. So now we're just going to lay these out so we can see how we want them. And I want that sentiment kind of nestled in there. We're going to put him down like that. And then we're going to put her at kind of a jaunty angle like that. All right, I kind of like, oh, let's see. I think we'll put her antennas atop our baby, like that. Okay, I like it. All right, so now I'm going to use dimensionals for my flying bugs, because that makes sense to me in my head. That makes sense to me in my head, is for them to be popped up. Yeah, no, you are not the only one. Karen is all over <laughs> being short helps. <laughs> not how, sure how being short helped you find it on the floor of my room on the other side of the country, but I am so glad it did. All right, and we'll just put her on like that. And then we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, <laughs> That's just goofy. That's just so silly. I can't even believe it. We'll use a little liquid glue for this little grounded dude. We're going to put him like that. And then I'm going to put in my welcome baby sign. Well, let's see if we can make him at least a little bit straight. There we go. And then we'll pop this guy on again because he's a flyer. 
So he needs to be flying. <laughs> People be watching this YouTube video going, oh my Lord, I'm watching a crazy woman. She can't find anything. It's sitting right in front of her. She has to have people who can't even see what she's looking at help her find what she needed. And we'll put him at this jaunty angle like that. Okay, 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 okay. And then I'm going to put one dimensional under his little butt. In fact, I'm going to use a piece of a dimensional. I know. Go ahead. Say, I told you so, Amy. Go ahead. It's okay. A little piece of a dimensional under his little bug butt. This one became a he all of a sudden. Not sure why. All my ladybugs flew away. You're closer. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to your world, oh, Robbie. Yes. Goodness. I couldn't believe that whole thing today. I swear to you, I spent five minutes looking for these two blends. And they were, no kidding, right there. I looked everywhere. I stood up. I stood back. I picked everything up. And they were right there. The whole time. Right there. I was... I was pretty appalled at myself. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we're going to stick him right there like that. Right there like that. Okay. And then we'll stick this other non-flyer, grounded, grounded bug, grounded bug on here. He looks a little, little full of himself, doesn't he? Uh, and one more popped on with dimensionals. Okay. I think this will be an okay baby one, don't you, for a boy baby? I think it'll be okay. Cause wait till you see which which sentiment do you think I'm gonna use? Oh yes. Uh-huh. And we're gonna put her right there like that. Okay. Now I'm just gonna Hey Christy, glad to see. You're converting me one dimensional at a time. Maybe, maybe I doubt it, but okay. Now I've just got a, some uh, solid white baker's twine. I'm just going to tie a real simple little bow. Could probably even leave the bow off, but I'm all about the bow. Because it's all about the bow. About the bow. About the bow. No glitter. There, that was good. It's all about the bow. About the bow. No glitter. And we're going to put him right there, but that's not even. Make it even, Mary. Make it even. It must be even, must be even, or it is not right. Come on now, come on now. Okay, there we go, that'll be fine like that. And I'm just gonna use some liquid glue. And we'll put him on there like that. Now on my prototype, the, the, uh, I put some rhinestones on and I used the pink ones, but on this one I'm gonna use the, um, the green. These are, this is the noble peacock. And so I'm just going to put a green there and probably a green here. And I'm gonna think one more green working odd numbers right there. And we'll snip that off and then set it aside for that glue to dry that bow on. And there we go. So there is the card front. Dunsky. Now, on the inside, we're going to use a Whisper White matted on So Saffron. And I'm going to use the You're Cute as a Bug stamp. What do you think? I like it so much. And I'm going to stamp it in Bommy Blue. <laughs> Earworm for you, Sharon. Earworm. Now, even with the clings with my labels on, I tend to stamp it once um, on my scrap, just to be sure it's stamping straight, that I put the label on correctly. So I think that's pretty close. So we'll make our panel straight and put that right in the middle. Okay. 
Now, we're gonna do a little more stamping and coloring. Stamping and coloring, stamping and coloring. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate the kind words and the thumbs up. That's very nice. I've got a Whisper White envelope. I don't know why I just got another one because I already had one because of how organized I am. I'm so freaking organized. And what I'm gonna do is stamp my flyer bug down in the bottom corner in basic gray. And I'm gonna do that also in the bottom corner of my Whisper White envelope. Like so. Okay. Thanks, Kay. Thank you, Holly. Yeah, Terry, isn't that a cute little sentiment? Now, before I get started coloring, I'm taking one of my um, acetates from my old stamp -a jig and sticking it inside my envelope, which I like to do when I am coloring with, with any amount of area when I'm really coloring something with Stampin' Blends on an envelope so that it doesn't bleed through. I'm not saying that's ever happened to me, but it has totally happened to me. Just throwing it out there. Okay, so now we're gonna do some coloring and I'm gonna do um, balmy blue, light and dark. And we're gonna use the balmy blue on his wings This is the envelope. And I'm just flooding the whole thing with the light and then coming back with the dark around the edges. Very, very technical, very artsy. Probably the, one of the art institutes from somewhere is going to call me soon to teach a master class on blend coloring. Not, but it works and it gets the job done. And I'm thinking, you know, it's a ladybug on a card. How, how real should it really look? I mean, seriously, it's a ladybug with a Munster thingy right there and a smirk. So, you know, first of all, I don't think ladybugs smirk because they're too ladylike to smirk. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we'll do the same on the card on the inner panel. Just a like of that. Just keeping that blue theme going a little bit. I know I'm assigning it gender stereotypes. I understand. I got it. I'm old. I still use the masculine when I'm talking about a crowd of people. Sorry, or when I'm talking about just a generic person. That's what I learned. I don't find it offensive. And if anybody does, I'll just apologize in advance. All right. Okay, so there's the wingies, the wingas. See you, Robbie. Yep, blue gingham on the flap is correct. Okay, now I've got that light um, smoky slate again for her little belly, her little bug belly, and her little bug butt, and her bug arms and legs. Actually, there's no legs visible, so it's just her little hands and her arms. Little, I don't know why I keep wanting to call her a bee. I, I'm trying to call her a bee, and she's not a bee at all. She is a ladybug. Hello, Mary, ladybug. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. That is not the tune, but those were the words. Okay, here we go. And then we'll get the uh, color lifter out and give her a little belly. Like that. And it's not going to be like you look at it and go, oh, look how light it is there in the middle. But it'll make enough of a definition that I think it will. it's worth taking the time it takes to scrub that across there. And then my light petal pink to color her face. Okay. And that is all the coloring. I kept calling them bees. Yes, I was offending them over and over and over and over. It was horrible, horrible, just horrible. 
Okay, so now we'll go ahead and mat this on So Saffron. Like so. And I'm going to add one more little thing. I'm going to take my journaling pen. And I'm going to give her a little path. There's that. And again, on the envelope flap, or on the envelope. All right. Bye, Melanie. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you. All right. And then we'll put this on the inside with some liquid glue. Oh, I bet. I wonder how they did that. Actually, they, it probably just was a coloring thing, wasn't it? Except, how did they make the wings go away? The dots on the wings. I don't think bees have dots on their wings. But I'll bet they were cute. This is just a cute stamp set. Any way you cut it. Any way you cut it, that's the way. No. No, no, no. No. Never mind. Mm -mm. Never mind. Alrighty. Uh, I got... <laughs> Obviously, I have a little glue on my finger. Apparently, I have a little glue on my finger. Otherwise, what in the world is that sticking to? Oh, my Lord. Better be glue. Alright. See, full-size dimensionals on card bases and card fronts. Just saying. The only time a cut dimensional is appropriate is on a popped-up element on a card. Just saying. Covered the wings. Oh, I guess that's, that's a good idea. Better than a booger. You might have a booger on your finger, but I do not have any boogers on my fingers that I would ever admit to. Miss Amy. Miss Amy, Miss Amy. So, Amy, how many days is it until July 3rd? I'm counting down already. Okay, let's be sure I put this on right side up, upside right. All right. What do you think, you guys? This okay? Will this be okay for my mom to send to whoever she's sending it to for her baby? Baby gift. And then we'll um, put the... Small check gingham on the envelope flap. Flappa, the flappa. Bye, Tanya. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you very much. Have a good rest of your weekend, y'all. And there we go. Dunsky. A quick fussy cut and we'll be Dunsky. All righty. I like that I got two very, very different cards. I mean, I think they're pretty darn different. Even though they're exactly the same, I think they're pretty darn different. How's that? So, we have a baby card. And we have a thank you card. Totally, this baby, this card, if I just used this sentiment on here, could have been a little girl's baby card. Easy peasy. I love the paper piecing. I really, really like how that turned out. Um, and I hope you'll give it a try. So work it out. Figure out how what you need to do to get this stamp set for yourself. And then be ready for the dies coming on the 4th of February. Which is really um, not much more than a week away. All right? All right, guys. I appreciate your help. Karen, thank you for finding my die cut parts for me so that I didn't have to recut everything. And uh, we will see y'all next week in February. I think next week will be February. All right. Bye, guys. See ya.